Protesters are opposing state regulations that create barriers to medical marijuana. 22 News State House, State House reporter Christine Lee is live in Boston to tell us why patients say the state is taking away their medicine. We don't live in the 1930s propaganda that marijuana is addictive and you smoke it, you go crazy. Get off the watch, reefer madness. Yeah. Get off the reefer madness, Cheryl Bartlett. Right here on Nightside, WBZ News Radio 1030. We're going to talk this hour about the arrival of medical marijuana in Massachusetts. And as I said in the promo for this piece, I'm not blowing smoke. Uh, medical marijuana is now the law in Massachusetts, approved by the voters last November. Um, but the next step for advocates of medical marijuana is actually getting stores uh, 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 into communities available, set up, uh, basically getting a um, distribution system uh, legally uh, constructed here in Massachusetts. For about five months, medical marijuana patients were able to access cannabis for medicinal purposes through caregivers. But new state regulations, they say, make it more difficult for them to obtain their medicine that way. No! We're not going to take it. Hell no. Bring back the grow and bring back the caregivers. To talk about that issue and what's going on with that issue. Uh, is the former president of Mass Can Normal. So that would stand for Massachusetts Cannabis Normal, the National Organization for for the Reform of Marijuana Laws. Ironically, his name is Mike Can, C-A-N-N of Cambridge. Mike, how are you tonight? We don't live in the 1930s propaganda that marijuana is addictive and you smoke it, you go crazy. Get off the watch, reefer madness. Yeah. Get off the reefer madness, Cheryl Bartlett. Cheryl, we'd like to ask you some questions, please. Cheryl? Cheryl, are you home? If you don't mind, uh, your patients are outside demanding some answers from uh, from you. Please, Cheryl, come to the door. Yeah, please. I mean, my, my tax man money Bartlett. pays your salary. Come on down and speak to us. It's the patients. The people you're writing the law for, come on down. What's your phone number? Talking about medical marijuana. Mike Can from, uh, he's a former president of Mass Can for Massachusetts Cannabis, Normal, uh, the national, or, uh, basically the local chapter of the National Organization of the Reform of Marijuana Laws. Medical marijuana, now the law in Massachusetts, but not available in Massachusetts. And Mike Can certainly believes time has now long since passed to get this law which is on the books in practice we'll be back after this Nightside, dan ray wbz news radio 10 30 supporters are protesting the state's new regulations that limit caregivers from selling pot to more than one patient. Michael Malta uses marijuana to treat his OCD and severe panic disorder. He says the Department of Public Health's rules are forcing him to seek medical pot through other means. I waited 25 years to get this law in. They, they, they forced me back to the black market. It's wrong. That's why we're here today. Medical marijuana was legalized in January following a voter approved ballot initiative. But in May, the state released new regulations that encouraged pot access through dispensaries. So it's not like, you know, they've had, they've been on, they've had medical cannabis for, you know, for decades and all of a sudden the DPH is taking their medicine from them. There was a brief period where they could get medical cannabis from caregivers. Sometime during next, the next year, when dispensaries finally open their doors, the patients will now have great, greater, more consistent access to medicine. But pot advocates say some patients just prefer accessing medicine through caregivers. You have people that you trust that are going to give you a good deal because you're a patient. And you know where it's grown. It's lower cost. 
Advocates say the new regulations effectively prevent caregivers from selling pot because it's too expensive to grow the medicine for only one patient. is currently creating the application process by which medical marijuana dispensaries can apply for a license to sell pot in Massachusetts. Live at the State House, Christine Lee, 22 News.